Welcome back to the workshop in the DMR Jump Bike Build Series. In this video we're going to be fitting and bleeding the Shimano MT200 hydraulic brakes. First thing we're going to do is put the lever on the bar. We're then going to fit the caliper by sliding it over the disc and attach it using the two bolts. Make sure that the caliper isn't twisted and the disc is centralised. To fit the front brake, you want to pass the brake hose through the hole in the middle of the top cap. To do this, we're going to need to remove the caliper by undoing this bolt and cut the line to remove the barb and the olive. In the pack, you should get a replacement olive and a replacement barb. This is so you can make up the end to refit the caliper. You want to cut the line about two centimetres up from the caliper. This is so that you avoid hitting the barb. And feed the hose down through the middle of the top cap. We're going to fit the caliper to the fork. This will enable us to measure the hose and cut it at the correct length. It will also make it easier to refit the hose to the caliper. It's a good idea to remove the brake pads to prevent them from becoming contaminated during the bleed process. Gonna undo the bolt to enable us to remove the hose. Put this not somewhere safe as you'll need it when we refit the hose in a minute. Once the hose is removed, you'll see the previously fitted olive and barb. These can't be reused and so need to be disposed of. Once you've cut the hose to length, you refit the nut then the olive and insert the barb into the end. If you haven't got a barb insertion tool you can tap this into place with a hammer. Once the barb is flush with the end of the hose, insert the hose into the caliper, slide the olive into place and the nut, and tighten the nut.
As the nut is tightened, it compresses the olive onto the hose, forming a seal and preventing any leaks. Once the nut is tight, we can start bleeding the brake. To bleed the brakes, you need to move the reservoir screw and seal, and then fit the bleed funnel. Once the funnel's fitted, remove the stopper and fill it up with mineral brake fluid. Pop the lid on to prevent the fluid becoming contaminated and give the lever a couple of squeezes to prime it with fluid. Put a brake block in the caliper to prevent the pistons coming out whilst bleeding. Connect the syringe to the bleed nipple and undo the bleed screw. Use the syringe to draw the fluid through the brake line, making sure that the funnel on the brake lever doesn't empty. The aim of this process is to remove any air that's trapped in the brake line. Once you've got a good volume of fluid in the syringe, push the fluid back through the brake line. This will help to free any trapped air pushing it back to the funnel. Give the lever a couple of squeezes before drawing the fluid back into the syringe. Once there's no more trapped air, tighten up the bleed screw. Remove the syringe and then clean the area using brake disc cleaner. Insert the stopper to prevent any fluid leaking and then remove the funnel. Refit the reservoir cap screw and seal. The final things to do are refit the brake pads and then fit the wheel.
Thanks for watching, why not check out the rest of the DMR Jump Bike Build Series? And if you like this video or found it useful, remember to like and subscribe to see all future videos.